All right, Gemini, what's up? Welcome to Sylvivan. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your reading. What's coming up around Gemini, okay? What does Gemini need to know about at this moment in time? All right. I feel like a lot of happiness in around you. Some of you, you're doing good. All right. You got new love headed your way. You've completed a cycle. Maybe you got closure about something. All right. You're feeling better. Okay. You feel like the tables were balanced out or something was balanced out. Someone um, came through and kind of balanced things out, made things better. So now it's like you're you're um or maybe you balanced out the scales for somebody here and now you're receiving the gift of intuition or deeper intuition or deeper darker um occult knowledge or something like that all right beautiful so yeah your wishes being granted is what i'm seeing here you're also looking very sexy very classy as well people see you like that very classy very sexy but you're also lacking sleep or you're like over worried about something Okay, I'm um, getting don't worry, everything's going to be okay. And then we also get the world card. Okay, there's a cycle ending for you um, and you're up, up leveling up, okay? And upon you leveling up, uh, there's going to be a decision you're going to have to make. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Woo. All right, let's start here. Okay, so... There we go. Growth. Okay, you're growing, you're expanding. Oh, yeah, a lot of growth for you here with the strength card. Um, not only that, your confidence is growing. Your solar plexus chakra is regaining its balance, like back to where it used to be or where it needs to be with the strength card here. But this is making a major decision, something that, you know, you may need to kind of take things a little slow, but also that you're really excited about. You may have another Leo around you who's like looking at you from afar or feels the distance in between you, Gemini. Or you may have Leo in your chart. But with this um, Seven of Discs, this is like someone here is learning to look at things. Um, they're kind of just, I don't know if they're waiting or if they're just kind of like sitting back and letting things be as they are. It's almost like, mm, should I invest in this or not? Someone's here. And someone here wants to invest in a connection, I feel like. For those of you, this is uh, growth, your own growth, okay? The star card is here, so you're going to be um, noticed, or you're going to be in the public eye, or you're going to be popular, or something like that, okay? With the Gemini, um, with the Gemini. <laughs> okay, well, maybe you're going to be popular with a Gemini or something. But with the star card here, it's like in the public eye, or you're a star, or you're becoming a star, or something like that, okay? So be careful what you invest your time into and um, definitely hold back from things that are not going to help you grow. Damn, that's something I hella saw. Okay, huge transformation happening for you, death card. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this reading up with my little tarot. What's this three of wands about for Gemini? Definitely someone is thinking about you. I do want to know. Yeah, the hangman. Okay, so this person is thinking about you, this Pisces or this... Um, or this um, this person you left hanging or that left you hanging, or this is your spiritual level. Okay. Your spiritual level is the hangman. You're about to discover something new. Okay. You're about to come in with a, your soul family or your, your, um, your, you're going to come in with someone, your family, your soul family or something like that. Okay. What's the strength card about here? Uh, the strength card is about, yeah, someone from your past, the strength. Okay. Or you've come in contact with this Leo, um, from your past, okay, Gemini, this Leo from your past, okay, maybe you're going to enlighten them about something, you're going to tell them something, help them grow, okay, something, Seven of Pentacles showing up again, but I'm going to take all these cards back up, because it's too many, obviously, but definitely some type of contract, okay, this is a contract, contract headed your way, someone's going to give you a contract or a new contract of something, okay, this one really wants to come out, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it, it's like you're going to go from the seven of discs to extreme abundance, okay, um, headed your way, some of you, you're buying a home, or you're, you're, know, you're buying a home, or someone from your family is reaching out, okay, this Pisces, maybe someone you haven't talked to in a while, let's see, What's the star card? Okay, the star card is clarified by the seven of cups. It's like you're looking to see, like you're trying to figure out the answers before you even have them. Or there's a lot of illusions. And not only that, you have a lot of dreams. Um, maybe you've been having, maybe this person has been having a lot of dreams about you, Gemini. Something like that, okay? With the star card here. Um, but also this is like, it's almost like you have options and you're unsure which one to take, Okay.
All right. Wow, look at that. Hold on. The star card again. All right. So this is telling me it's it's you're you're going to be famous or you're going to be popular or you're going to be in the public eye. Um and this is also telling you, you know, that doesn't resonate to just stay hopeful for the best and that everything's going to work out as it should. It's almost like it's destined. It's destiny. Something is destiny or a part of destiny here. All right. I get one more for you. You get the emperor. Okay, so you're coming you're coming um in contact with emperor energy or you're becoming an emperor okay what this is this is um being your own business be opening up your own business this can also be spiritually you're leveling up to emperor status when when you get emperor status this is the king of kings this is like top level right or at least one of them right you're 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 ascending in your spirituality so when you use tarot um it starts off with the fool right and you go along your path and you learn each lesson. And so it's now you're learning this lesson of the emperor. You're learning how to have structure in your life. You're learning how to be a leader. And you're learning how to be um, be confident in the decisions that you make as well. Okay? For some of you, you're meeting like your father. You're coming in contact with your father. Or you're um, opening up your business or doing something or being a leader. Okay? Stepping into your own power. Let's see what this is. Uh, we got the Hierophant. Okay, so, so yeah, you're meant to be a leader or like a spiritual teacher or a spiritual healer or something like that with the Hierophant here. Okay, this is also duality. Okay, you're starting to see things differently. Um, this is also someone that you're gonna be married to. Okay, oof, it's a lot. Yeah, the Empress back of the deck energy. Okay. There's a contract. There's a soul contract. Literally, it's what I'm getting is there's a soul contract you're coming into. You don't know everything. You don't know the details yet. You're still you're still a hangman. You don't know the details yet, but the details are being worked out. Um, your guides are helping you. Damn, this is really deep. I don't know. I don't know who's reading this for, but let's see, Gemini. Deep replenishment, rest, be held. Yeah, it's like you gotta take a break. You, you're taking. You gotta take a time out. Okay, rest. Retreat, be held, and protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. You're cutting cords from everywhere, <laughs> from your past, where pe people were once connected to you. You're cutting that back. You're taking back your power. You're realizing who you are, Gemini. Right? For some of you, you have a Taurus around you, or an Aries, or Aries Taurus headed your way. Okay, I feel like you've been wanting this, or this person keep kept you hanging from your past, or some shit like that. Oh. All right, let's see. Menteca and longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Like you and this person, um, you're meant to do something. Um, learn from each other. You guys are light workers, okay? This person is missing you. Whoever this is, they miss you. All right, they've been missing you. They miss you. They want to tell you the truth about things. They want to come forward, okay? Um, it says wait not yet postpone pause say no okay so maybe you're gonna have to say no to this person um take it how it resonates uh trust the nickel so this is telling you it's like trust what your gut feeling is telling you that you should do it's like a little test from the universe you know what i mean so let's go ahead and pull out these beautiful cards i got these are a heavenly bodies astrology deck Gemini, we got fire, confidence, optimism, passion, bravery, okay? So maybe a fire sign. We do get Aries here, okay, with the emperor. What else does Aries, does Aries, what else does Gemini need to know? Mars, okay, so yeah, strong Aries energy. So an Aries coming back around, okay, move forward and defend self, okay, that's what that says. You gotta move forward and defend yourself, okay? With this emperor, the, the emperor defends himself when he needs to. He does what he needs to do. He takes precautionary action um, to move forward in the, in the direction he needs to move, okay? We also get physical security, possessions, material values, self-worth. Where's your self-worth at, okay? You're about to show someone where your self-worth at is for sure, Okay? 
So here with the Scorpio back of the deck energy, intensity, exposing, purging, renewing. You're, you may be releasing a lot at this moment in time, like I said, okay, or maybe that's something you're doing energetically. Um, there's a lot of intense emotions or intense passion in between you and someone as well. Okay. Damn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just, I don't know. This is very, this is a very, like, intense reading, I feel like. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Someone may be regretting losing you and, like, they see your worth or your value now. Uh, regret. Yeah. <laughs> I know that I cannot change my past. Someone here like regrets, like deeply regrets. Um, they deeply regret like leaving you hanging and trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me in the correct way or guide me correctly. All right. So that is all I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I feel like you're going to move out of this adversity. Okay. I feel like you're going to be just fine. Don't worry. Everything's going to work in your favor. Um, but before I do leave, I'm going to pull out a self-care oracle for you just because I want to end off this reading on a good note. And we got be still. So patience is still needed. And this is the hangman energy, as you can see. Okay. <laughs> so it's like there's still like a pause or a wait. You're going to have to wait for this. Um, this is your divine counterpart, I feel like. Because didn't we see Empress at the back of the deck? Yeah. So this is your divine counterpart. Like you guys are going to marry each other. But, like, it's still not time yet. Like, the details are still being worked out. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is about mastery, right? But it's, like, not mastered yet. So it's almost like something or some someone isn't ready. And the details are still being worked out. All right? So there's still, like, your angels are still working on this. Like, you guys are both light workers. You guys came to, came to do something very interesting here. Okay? King of Wands. Fire energy. So, yeah, so I don't know, just keep moving forward, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you, you gotta take a time out or a break or something, okay? Um, it's still not time yet, is what I'm getting. One more card for you, you get look for fairies, okay? Use your imagination. I feel like you've been using your imagination a lot. Um, imagine what you want, and that'll come to you a lot quicker because I see here like you're grounding the energy, right? You're taking the practical movements to achieve everything you want, but you're also um, daydreaming a lot, okay? And it's like this needs to be grounded. All this daydreaming, all these plans that you may have, they're really good plans, but you gotta take action towards them, okay? That's what the emperor does, he takes action. All right, so very lovely. That is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Back of the deck energy, you get seeing. Um, that is all I have for you, Gemini. Bye for now.